Gonzalez inside the box, centers it. Bursic is out, it's loose and cleared by DeBrito. Sent right back into the edge of the area. Maradona's on it. Shot. Oh! Huzios! And Barcelona takes the lead. Number eight, Huzios. Well, the Cosmos victimized by some very uh, lackluster defensive work there in terms of clearing. No question, you've got some quality players in the box against you, but uh, this shot just comes out and there's no chance whatsoever. But I think it was Eskandarian trying to get it out, but he was uh, tackle and hit as he was trying to clear it. As you'll see, uh, Maradona was the one who put the tackle on him, but Tuzilos uh, sees a little space open to David Bursage's right, and that's all. Cosmos, the length of the floor, the length of the field immediately as Maradona puts it ahead. Laid off by Close. Here comes Barcelona with the lead. A through ball and an excellent one for Josios against Bursic and two goals for Josios. Well, wow, that has all started through the magic of Maradona. The cute back flick pass that uh, started the counterattack going. And eventually the great ball through by Maradona to Huzios. Here you'll see the pass at the end. Look at that. Beats two players with a pass. Naskins came up for it, and nobody covered him behind him when he when he committed to midfield. And uh, the Cosmos victimized again by some shoddy midfield defense as it was Naskins who had to come up and make the lunging dive. And when he did that, nobody filled in behind him. 2-0 Barcelona leads at 25 minutes first half. Yes, it is not disallowed. Jerry Gray was the centering, the guy who centered it. But the original pass was offside, wasn't he? Now let's take a look at the replay. <laughs> well, I don't know if you really need to roll it back that far, but when he, sw when he whiffed on it. I'm surprised it wasn't over the line. To begin with. show you exactly how it happened as there's the tussle on the replay close ball through to Cabanas and he misses it and then it's Jerry Gray coming up saving it as it goes to the line and Cabanas knocking it into the roof of the net there's a little good save by Jerry Gray or was it Steve Moyers I thought it was uh, I thought it was Jerry Gray but I might have got it wrong bogey Borja slices it in. Jerry Gray sends it right back. Moyers is onside. Steve Moyers shot. Go. We're tied. And the Cosmos have stormed back from a two-goal deficit to tie Barcelona. Four goals in a very small amount of time. Only 24 minutes of play. And the Cosmos have gotten two goals. A little suspicion of offside on that one. But look how well this young American takes it. Takes it on his right foot, then squares it onto the left. No hesitation as he must go to the far post, which was given to him by the keeper. And the Barcelona players are irate, upset, and every other possible feeling of antagonism towards the officials because they clearly felt that Moyers was offside. Francois Bernard, again, the junior linesman on the near side, uh, is the one to which the back to take it, and Aspins calls him off. Borja for Johan, and here's Pedro de Brito as we hit the two-minute mark. Borja with help on either wing. To Gabanius in the middle, lays it back for Chico, running on. Tries to control, taken down on the box, oh. and a penalty tick is called. Oh. And I cannot blame Barcelona oh, dear. for their irate descent with Ed Belly, and it will be a penalty kick with a minute 42 remaining in the first half. Oh, dear. This is the most transparent dive you've seen uh, since the last Olympic championship. Look at this now. He touches it through, but you see Chico coming in. He is hit at the outside. Oh, there's a little touch of the ball, and he just simply <laughs> falls over. 5'7", five, 5'6", five, 5'8". Five, but it worked. Unbelievable. Well, the first decision in the Udinese game was a good decision on the replay because the foul was just inside the penalty area. A good call by the linesman in this 
judgment uh, unfortunately has let him down here. Not easy to referee these games, and but uh, that was a very, very dubious call. Bellion, as I mentioned earlier, not always the Cosmos' favorite referee, may suddenly change in their estimation. If Naskins puts this in, in the Barcelona view of things, two of the three Cosmos goals will be tainted. The second, in their opinion, had been offside. Naskins had a penalty kick converted against Tampa Bay on Saturday night. This is for the lead with a minute 38 in the first half. And the Cosmos lead at 3-2. to two. Naskins at the 43-22 mark. And... Uh, he is now the designated penalty kick taker with the old number nine, George Okinayo, watching this match from press row with us. Well, no problem for Johan with this one. I always wonder about Johan's style. I remember, of course, the 74 world field cutters to either side. Cleaned out by Eski. Ahead to Moyers. Four on two if they hustle. Moyers onside to Stan Terlecki as Amador is off his line. Moyers, go! for Steve Moyers against Barcelona. Warming up for the match against Italy. Well, this is a great, look at this unselfish business by Terlecki, pushing the ball into the space where he knows nobody can reach it except the Cosmos player. And there's Moyers this time notching in with his right foot, his second of the night, with the goal with an assist. And the Cosmos really uh, on their pins this whole second half have come up with an important fourth goal to the surprise of this crowd and to the dismay of Barcelona, who once again wanted to have that one call back. But Bogey. Brito losing out. It's a foot race. There goes Close, backed up by Naskins in front for Maradona. And penalty kick is given as Maradona is taken down. And there is the answer to our earlier question. Yeah, well, it was going to be uh, sooner rather than later, I guess. Uh, how many times can Maradona fall in the penalty area and not get a penalty? Uh, but I, th I thought Jerry Gray made a good tackle here. I, mean, I guess it might have been from behind. I thought it was from the side. Let's take a look at the replay. You see him uh, pushing the ball in here to Maradona. And now we'll see the tackle. Well, it was from behind, but it's hard to know whether or not he got the ball. But uh, not much question about the fact that he went down in a, in a pile. And uh, Andy Parkinson, by the way, warming up outside here for the Cosmos and Naskins. Uh, somewhat discouraged by all this. Maradona was fouled, and he appears to be the man nominated for the penalty kick. It will Magico, come at 72-18. Yeah, Magico Gonzalez and Estella have both gone off to be replaced uh, by two other attacking players for Barcelona. Canizares, number 15, is on, as substitutions have been made, as well as Jimenez, number 14. The penalty kick. Saved by Bursic! That's the match. There goes Steve Moyers. Alan Green down the right side. This is Stan Terlecki with two men in the box, one of them bogey. Centers, bogey, header, goal! What a goal! What a goal by bogey! Unbelievable goal! The bogey the man. The bogey man comes out of the midfield where he camps most of the afternoon, makes a great downfield run and a flying header for the fifth. That's right, fans. Fifth goal against Barcelona. Look at this diving header by Bogey. Fantastic. Ladislav snaps it home. The assist to Terlecki. This score is going to raise a few eyebrows on Erez Jimenez. Giving it back with 29 seconds to go. Jimenez, number 14, edge of the box. Now the chip crack in. With 17 seconds to go, the third goal for Barcelona. I think Cusillos again, was it? I believe so. Either he or close, we'll get another look. A nice cross in here. That, yes. That is Cusillos, a beautiful, uh, beautifully executed header into the bottom corner there. No chance for David Bursich whatsoever, but it, uh, it's really uh, just purely a statistic at this point with 17 seconds to go. So at uh, 89...